So these guys are gonna get going and I'll show a little bit up here as we go on. Pretty pumped. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Smokey. We're coming in there in just a minute. Let me tell, let me tell the people something real quick, okay? We're excited today. Something's gonna be happening that we've really waited on a long time. Let's show them real quick. Morning, folks, Grandpa Adler Farms. Hey, I'm hoping this is a big day. Remember uh, back March, April, Kyle cleared all this out, had all this, you know, you'd have to go back and watch the videos. This is all a bunch of trees that we cut down, big old mess. Ended up piling all the dirt right here. See that right here, how nasty that is? It's been here for months. Finally found somebody to clear all this out and take it away. They were gonna come Labor Day and it rained the night before and couldn't do it. So today, they're gonna to come and all this is gonna be gone. And I'm gonna be extremely, extremely relieved. Won't you be relieved, Batman? Batman's just tickled to death, I can tell. Smokey, everybody's tickled to death. Let's get started on our chores this morning. How is everybody? Look at this, see this? It's 58, 59 degrees. A little cool front come through last night, rained a little bit, cooled down. Really feels like fall today, whoo, feels good. However, we're still in September. Next seven, eight days, 90 degrees again, 92, 93. So we're gonna enjoy today, and then it's gonna fire back up again. What I've been doing before I go down and feed the puppy and the, and the goats, I throw some scratch over to the chicken just so they'll have something to do while we're gone. All right, let's just throw some scratch all around. Yeah, this will hold you over. We'll be back. Y'all get warmed up for the wormy game, okay? Okay. Oh, look. Look at that. Luigi's taking Smokey on. Are you playing this morning? Everybody in a good mood? Yeah. Uh-oh, look out. You got the zoomies already? Burr, burr. Look at them. Look at them. Uh-oh, boom. Boom. Come on, get your buddies down here. She usually comes up last. She gets behind them and heads them this way. Look at that. There we go, see? Ain't that cool? Let's get you guys taken care of. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hey, now don't get a Batman. Batman. Oh, hey, you're gonna miss it. Now, not as much on the grain. Take a handful, which is probably about three-fourths of a cup. It'll be it, because they've been eating the daylights out of the hay. Hey, you gotta hear it, Littles. Come on, Littles, your turn. Hey, stay out of there. Don't do what that big boy does. That's, he's, he's, he's got a bad habit. Here we go. Oh, that's got water in it. I forgot. Well, I got to drill. Grandpa needs to drill some holes in that, guys. That's got water in it. Hey, you got to hop down, hon. Hop down a minute. I know. You're, you're hungry, and Grandpa's slow. Okay, here we go. Now, if I use my hand and just give him a handful and a half, that's about the same every time. Because if I just pour it out... I don't get it equal, all right? Smokey, you want your food, honey? Come here, you want to try a can of dog food this morning? Uh-oh, you got zoomies, really? Are we gonna zoom? Okay, but well, hold on, folks, time out. We got the zoomies. Here she comes. Oh, you got the zoomies? Watch out, come here, come see me, come see me. Oh, no zoomies now? Yes, no, hmm? Oh, there they go, here we go. Got the zoomies, here we go, come here, come on. Come here, go get you. Go get you. Oh, there we go. Come see me. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Uh-oh. Now she'll go all the way down there. Look. All the way back down there. Oh, my goodness. Boy, she can run for miles now. Yeah, she's distracted now. I'm not even going to dump that can of dog food out yet. It's all right. We got things to do. Let's go do the pigs. At least nothing knocked this over today. I went ahead and put it in one of these lid lockers. That way, we don't have to worry about it if it gets knocked over, losing any of it. Ladies, where's Magneto? Here, Mags, come here. Here, let's just get right there. Let them eat right there for now. Here we go. Want your egg? There we go. There's your egg. Hi, Lola. Good morning. We got you right here, babe. Here we go. There we go. All right, girl. How about a little water? Let's get you a little water. Okay, girls. Good morning. Okay, come on. All right. Oops, sorry, I hit you, right on the, hit you right on the nose hole. Right on the snout. Right on the schnoz. Where are you going, Olivia? Hey, here, you're fine. 
There's a little water. Here we go. Anybody happy there? Girls, I hear gunshots somewhere in the distance. Now, it's too early to be hunting. Oh, they must just be, I guess they're just practicing. I'm not sure, but it's awful early in the morning. Tell you one thing I got to get used to, you know, when fall starts and days start getting shorter, and I'm used to getting out here at, ooh, I don't know, six o'clock in the morning, starting in, you know, being done by seven. Now, like today, not only is the sun later coming up later naturally, about a couple of minutes every day, days are getting shorter. With the cloudiness, it was dark. So I'm sitting there in the front room just getting all fidgety. I'm ready to rock and roll, you know. Get out here, get things done. And the animals, I think they don't care whether it's sunshine or not. They're ready to go, but it's so dark. Can't see what you're doing. So I got to wait, kind of how it is. Yeah, it'll be fall here in about, about a week, maybe. A little less than a week. It's a coming, but not next week. 90s, remember? Hey girls, now you finish eating and we'll come back and see you, okay? We'll go take care of the rest of the animals and get them some hay and take care of the chickens and we'll come back. We got to do some chickens. Let's do the ladies. Hey, look at here what I got. The other day I showed you a couple of signs. And then somebody, because remember what I wanted to call this? Grandpa's poultry palace or the poultry palace. Look at that. Grandpa's poultry palace. Somebody had that made. And so I trying to make this look good this one's hanging in there folks but whoever got me I, I i won't promise that after a while that that won't stay on there because it's already kind of fading so i'll do the best i can but it is in the weather the reason i'm not putting them on the house down here if i do that you won't be able to see them and i kind of like for everybody to see them so that's pretty cool grandpa's poultry palace fluffy butt hut and no foul language i think we got it covered girls are you ready is everybody enjoying this cool weather huh Oh, look. Thanks, Nelly. Another egg in the, in the water. All right, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it in my apron. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's do, uh, instead of getting the wormies out, let's do the wormy game real quick. Come on, let's get warmed up. Ready? Here we go. One. Everybody at home is going to get out of the chairs and they're going to learn how to do the wormy game. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, sis! Reba, come here. Dance with me. Hot lips. Okay, very good. Everybody get your morning exercise? Well, I know. Let's do this. Come on. Let's get under the water. Let's get some bugs. Ready, set, go. Any in there? Now, it got kind of cool last night, girls. Them bugs may, may hide. Here, try this one. Nothing? We may not be able to get any buggies, you know. It's possible. Let's do this one. Here, get that one. Oh, man, I'm going to have to go buy some bugs. Where do you buy bugs? Hmm? Oh, look. Oh, man. They did come up under there, though. One more. All right, there we go. Now, we won't fill with water right now. Let's wait. Okay, good job, girls. Good job. Let's get your wormies. Hey, Nelly. Is there any bugs in here today? Get in there. Any bugs? Oh, I don't see any in there. I don't see any in there. Let's get your grubbies. Oh, my goodness. Somebody help me. Come here, those of you who can't eat. On the ground, some of you are too good to be chickens. Yeah, you can't peck the ground. Oh, heavens no, we don't want to get our beaks dirty, Grandpa. We want to eat out of your hand. Next thing you know, you'll be using silverware or something, or chopsticks. I don't know. Somebody said that they could be, it's the time of year they start molting. That could be why some of them are losing their feathers. I got news for you folks. They're losing their feathers because somebody's pecking them off right now. As a matter of fact, when I look here at uh, Hot Lips and her back, her feathers are sometimes, I notice they try to grow back and they get to about a quarter inch tall and somebody pecks them off. Don't bother the rest of the birds. Everybody's good here. Here, let's put some in your egg layer food. You got plenty of that. We'll, we'll, we'll put that, we'll replenish that tonight. Mm -hmm. 
Let's we'll replenish that tonight. What's the matter? Ginger? Here, Ginger, honey. Here you go. All right, let's put this up. I don't think there's anything else in there, girls. Oh, did you get somebody? Huh? Did you get something, Goldie? I don't think there's hay in it. Just a minute. Like, nothing in there, is there? No, no bugs. All right, come on out of there, Ellie Mae. Come on, Ellie Mae. Come on out. Come on, come on. Look out, look out, look out. Now we'll open the big door. All right, watch out. Here we go. Well, let's see. Did anybody do anything last night? Oh, yeah, look at here. There's one. There's one egg in there. What? Who's talking? Y'all talking at the same time. I can't understand what you're saying. One at a time. Raise your... Hey, raise a, raise a feather. Raise a feather. I'll call on you one at a time. Raise a wing. Raise a... Look at that. Get them eggs. Yeah, I got to teach them how to raise their wings. That way they... I can... Don't call on... They can, I can call on them one at a time. Here, let's just... You want this turkey egg, kids? Here. Here's that turkey egg. Boom! That's a big one. But now they've had their eggs. Hot lips. What's the matter, girl? Bark, 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 bark. You're fine. Oh, I got to go open up the other part, no, and I still don't let me forget, folks. Got to open up the other section over there. Boy, today would be a really good day to do something outside that normally would be too hot. So I got a feeling that's what we're going to end up doing. Hey, girls, let's. Uh, I'll go over here and open up your. I know. Come with me. Let's open up your other pen. Look at them waiting. I forgot. Let's open up the other section. Let's open up the north wing so you can get to the other north wing. There we go. Okay, everybody happy? Hmm? All right. There we go. There we go. All right, everybody's good. What's the matter? Huh? You're fine. I know. Nelly, I'm going to come through there, honey. You'll have to go the other way. I know. Ooh, I replaced the... Uh, tarp that that other one came with with one just like this so that turns out that's much better than than uh, that old other one it's heavier duty doesn't sag all right girls you be good i'll come back in later we'll clean out the coop again okay the poop coop that's what i'm going to call it i'll call it the poop coop yeah i think you do more pooping in there than you do outdoors Hot lips, you're fine. Everybody's good. Well, that's what they like right there. That's what they like right there. That's all right, girls. We're going to give you... Grandpa's going to build some more stuff for you, okay? Just give me a chance. Look at that. I like that. Now listen, they're talking. Listen, listen up, everybody. Watch this. Hi Lola. Hi Lola. Hey honey. I'll, hey, just a minute. I'll come back out here in a minute. We'll we'll pitch you. Hang on. So see how Lola comes out here and lays by them. No, we don't have food. Let's just. Uh, I just. I, I didn't. I didn't get to pet you last night. I didn't get to pet you last night. Come here. Oh, you want some belly rubs this morning? Such a nice day. Yeah. Get our belly rub in. And I gotta go. Probably have to go give uh, Miss Lola a belly rub. Don't you imagine? And good morning, everybody. Did everybody else get breakfast and everybody else get their belly rub? I bet they don't. I bet they don't. Look at Miss Lola back there. You know, if y'all can see her or not. I have to go out and give her a belly rub. Yeah. Oh, boy. Getting so big. Pretty girls. Bella and Olivia. Bella, Olivia. They're sisters. They're sisters. I think we got you guys, what is it, May? Somewhere around there in May, I believe, and they were about nine weeks old then, so do the math. That's how old they are. Maybe 110, 155 pounds when they get fully grown. No wattles, <clears throat> little wattles, or some of them, the cooney coonies, you see them hanging down off their jowls there, I guess, if you want to call them that. Listen, Grandpa's going to go, all right? I know, we could do this all day. We could do it all day, mm -hmm. right behind the ears. Okay, good girls, good girls. I can't go away without petting Miss Lola. No, nope, we can't do that. Now look, look at them, see? 
that's what's going to be so cool. They come over and hang out around with her like that. Hi, Lola. They hang around her like that, see? She lays out here with them. Yeah. So, are you like the old mama? Are you like their mama? Uh-oh, look out. Uh-oh, it's a belly rub. Uh-oh, she's trying to get... Don't knock my fence over. I got you right there. Don't knock my fence over. Easy. That's a lot of pressure on that fence. <laughs> but she had... Oh, Grandpa had to get the belly rub, Grandpa. Yeah, we had to get the belly rub. Yeah, we did. She probably won't be in her wallow too much today. Miss Lola is an American guinea hog, by the way. We've had her from the beginning. She's had two, two litters of little ones. And, uh, but we retired from that, didn't we, girl? Hmm? She's a good mama. Now you can be a mama to these two. How's that? Hmm? Yep. Now Grandpa get on the stick. Let's get that fence built, Grandpa. Pressure's on. All right, girl. Doing all right there, Mr. Fox. Hmm. Atta boy. Got the full belly. Got the full belly. Gonna relax. Take it easy just a little bit. Atta boy. All right. We'll see you after a while. Hey, Smoke. Well, guess what I did, folks, that I didn't show on video because I wasn't sure. I put two handfuls of food right there on that bare ground, and she ate it. She ate it. Ate every bit of it. So I don't. I don't know. You know, before I go up to the house, I'll. I'll get you a little more. I'll lay it out. I'll put it out there on the ground for you, okay, honey? I don't know. One day she eats out of the bowl, and then she just eats on the ground. It's whatever it takes. Ain't that right? Whatever it takes, right? It's going to be nice and cool today. Come on. Come on. You're up. Come on. Come on. I know what you're wanting to do. I saw the paw. That's a girl. Come on. Give, there we go. Well, come here. Up here. That's it. Come here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Good kisses. Thank you. Thanks for the kisses. Oh boy. Got to get your day started with plenty of smoky kisses. Is that right? Well, let me go grab you a little more food. All right? Yeah. I can get you some more. For sure. There's plenty where that came from. You know what? Yeah, she's eating it now right off the ground. Second go around. Everybody's been fed. Everybody's happy. I'll have to watch these guys right here. But when those guys show up to move this dirt and all that stuff, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll film a little of it throw it on here kind of a before and after I mean you saw the before but I can't wait to see the after so see you in a little bit oh this is what I was telling you about pretty excited about it there's our uh, skid steer their skid steer crazy part is they got an 18 year old young man's gonna run that thing that is remarkable apparently his family has a business that they use this in their business this is going to be a, uh, this is a roll off. It's not a dump truck. He's going to roll that thing off down here on the driveway. And this young man is going to load that up. Now, why, you're going to ask me, why didn't we have Kyle do all of this? Well, Kyle's been super busy. He volunteered to do it. He said, Dad, I'll rent all that. But I said, you know, son, let's just do this this way because you're busy. You got things to do. That's the company name right there. It's called A1. A1 dumpsters and cleanup. Now, these folks go within a, we're in Joplin, Missouri. I know that everybody may not be able to benefit from their service. They operate about a 30 mile radius outside of Joplin. If you live in this area, if you got some stuff like this, they'll do any kind of construction, cleanup, whatever it might be around here. They're going to roll that thing off and he's going to leave that. This young man will fill that up and then this guy will take it off. I'm not sure how many loads we're going to take, but it looks like a trans looks like a transformer. I've never seen him do this before. Man, I'm really pumped about this. Wonder how that's gonna work in reverse when that thing's full and he picks that up. 
That would be interesting. There she is. And I suppose that big arm's gonna let loose there in a minute. It's got a hook on it. Yeah, there he goes. Sweet. I'll probably have a hard time keeping Kyle from coming out here and asking this young man if he can run his skid steer. Kyle really enjoys it. He enjoys it and he's very good at it. Think you can handle it, boss? I think so. I think hey, he's got it under control. Folks, this is Trevor. How you doing, guys? Trevor owns a company, man. He has bailed me out of some a big, big deal here. You know, a lot, not a lot of people come out and do this smaller job. And uh, Trevor got this young man. He works for him. There we go. I, th I, th I think he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? I think he's been on the, that machine a couple times. It looks like he might have once been, or twice. been born on it. My middle son <laughs> did all this. I guarantee you he's inside the house right now. They're staying with for a little bit. He's foaming at the mouth. See, I went on that thing. The name of your company is A1? Correct. A1 Dumpsters and Cleanup. Yeah. You go 30 mile radius to Joplin. Yes, sir. Awesome. You, you do not just dirt, but you pick up all types of leftover construction, right? Correct. Yeah. So we do leftover construction. Uh, debris, also junk removal, uh, clean outs and stuff like that. Awesome. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Great. I'll tell you what, that ain't going to take him very long, Trevor. With right? That big machine, geez. Yeah. Now, do you think one, well, we, we don't really a, know. Yeah. We have another dumpster ready. Okay. Okay. So if we start filling up this guy, then we're going to reinforce it. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's got a pretty good size bucket on it. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. Now, do you have, does he have different attachments? Does he also do uh, other work with that? Like, so he like does. He so he yeah. does have quite a bit of different attachments from uh, mulching to brush hogging. Uh, he's got an auger as well. So Okay, oh awesome, uh, cool. Yeah, Ari, uh, Ari is fantastic and uh, he is actually better on a machine than Pelly is on a dirt bike and that's saying a bunch. He's, <laughs> he's a really dirt bike. Man yeah. alive, that's awesome. Yeah, he's he's got her down. This is the 18 year old young man that ran this skid steer and did all this work. This looks fantastic. Anybody who has watched me from the last six, eight months saw how this looked. Remember that? Now look at it. Woo! I am so excited. Not can come out here and plant grass or do whatever I wanted, even mow a little bit maybe, but that's, that is amazing. So a big shout out to A1 Dumpsters. This is Ari and this is Trevor. You know, look at the number if you uh, that I left earlier in the video. If you're within a 30 mile radius of Joplin Mo, you may even come out a little further, you know. But I'm just as pleased as I can, uh, pleased as I can be. Hey, thank you guys very much. Yeah, right, Appreciate it. Thanks, all right. Have a good if one. you fail in business, it's not my fault. <laughs> right. so, you know, all right, you guys, thank well, you. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Wait a minute. What's your YouTube channel's name? It's just under my name at Ari Beckman. Hey, that's... motocross, be careful. Oh, yeah, let's go, go check it out. We got mountain bike videos and all kinds of Ari stuff. Ari Beckham, so, B-E-C-K-H-A-M. Well, these guys are completely done. This looks so good. They just took this. You know, remember all those piles? You couldn't even see the house. Things were so stacked up. So Kyle did the first part, got all that clear up there where the pin is for the extended areas for the goats and for Smokey and everybody. Hey, what's up guys? Kyle, you're on camera. Cleared all this out, took some big old logs out, you know, 
those guys are really good. So if anybody's in the within the area that they service, you know, be sure to give them a holler out. I'll take the rest of this now, cut this down. I'll take my little uh, Kubota tractor, and I can take my box blade and see. I can go to places where he can't, and I'll get in between these trees and clean all this up. So that's going to look really, really good. So for this video, that's going to do it. Thank you all for coming along. Appreciate you very, very much. Reading the comments just really quick. A lot of them were on Smokey and the dog food, times of feeding, that kind of thing. And I know everybody's really concerned. We work on it all the time. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to experiment a little bit with different dog foods and so forth. I think a lot of it is just like what y'all say. She eats when she's hungry. You know, she's fine. She, uh, here she is. Hey, girl. See, everybody's worried about you. Everybody's worried about you, Smokey. You don't worry about me. See, I'm happy. Yeah, she's eating good when she eats. She gets plenty of love. <laughs> I'll be in there in just a minute. Plenty of loving, you know. So, she's doing okay. Kisses. Oh, you've been taking a nap with the goats. And kisses. Kisses. Okay. That's kisses, Grandpa. There we go. Boys. All right, I'll be in there in a minute. So, we're... We're good, all right? But thank you for the wonderful advice y'all give. I know you're concerned about it, about Smokey and all the animals, and I appreciate all those, you know, all the comments. And uh, we'll take them all into consideration. Uh, obviously, our bottom bottom line is, is uh, making sure the animals are healthy, happy, and all that kind of good stuff. So thank you all. God bless you. Thanks for praying for us. As always, we continue to pray for you. Couldn't do this without you. Just watch. That's all we ask. Just watch. Thank you for all the little things that some of you send. Not necessary. Me and Grandma are okay. Uh, but anything that you send for the animals is for the animals. 100%. Okay? All right, everybody say thanks. God bless. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>